Hey. Ireland, you're ready, guys. What are the pluses and minuses of playing Bar? I thought of this all the way up. Of playing Cameron and Solomon at the same time? Uh, I think there's a lot of pluses to it uh, from a standpoint of size, physicality, athleticism. Um, you know, both guys, I think, can defend a post. Um, that gives you some size and length around the rim. Um, minuses is, if you're going to look at it uh, from both standpoints, um, you don't want them both out there, you know, maybe picking up cheap, cheap fouls early um, to where you can make sure you know you're going to have one or the other uh, at this point right now. But uh, there's times they're out there together, and then sometimes I just, I just go with my gut and who I think's playing well. And then that's, that's, that's how I feel more comfortable, whether it's right or wrong. You know, I don't know, but it's, it's been good for me. You haven't played them much together. Has that been conscious, or has that just been the, the instinct? You just no, not, not any conscious. I think it's more just instinct, yeah. you know. Um, and I think eventually it'll come at time, you know. But, you know, this group's still learning. Um, and then, you know, we're, we, we, we're going to need Hans. We're going to need Jeff as we go forward, which you know, I told somebody the other night, I said, if we're going to beat Northern Iowa, I said, we're going to need like a three for five from three from, from those guys. And we were three for six from that from that spot. And so, um, you know, we need to keep getting confidence and game reps for, for all those guys. You know, Hans has come back from injury. You know, Jeff's, you know, in it new here. And then, you know, Cameron's just a freshman. But, um, you know, eventually they will. But, you know, those guys are prone to get a cheap foul. And so if you, you've got about both out there early, or especially in the first half, um, you know, it, that's a possibility. But that's just looking at it from the other side, if you're going to look at it two sides. Um, but I'm not, I'm not big on making a bunch of, you know, changes unless from a standpoint of lineups and different things like that, unless it's something that drastically need. As for Maryland Eastern Shore, kind of a similar type of tempo as you and I, um, I guess, what have you learned from your team against you and I that maybe you can incorporate into Wednesday's game? Well, I thought, you know, we, we knew we were going to have to be the tougher team. You know, we knew we were going to have to defend in the half court. We knew we were going to have to be physical with Carlson and, and Cook, and we did a great job in that. Um, I thought Solomon in the last couple of games has played extremely well in the post. He's competed. He's brought his physicality and toughness that he had last year. Um, you know, Maryland Eastern Shore, uh, how they'll play in league play, I don't know, but they've, you know, played a lot of, you know, games at Creighton at Virginia Tech, different games where you're going to control tempo. You're not going to try to run up and down, but uh, they do. They, they'll, they'll move the ball and then and get into their action, you know, whether it's ball screens, you know, shuffle stagger, what we call – Utah action, you know, different things. They will. They'll they'll start it late in the clock, and so you know, got to be disciplined, patient, get stops, and then play in transition from there. What's your message to the guys when you're playing a team that everyone expects you to beat by 50 points, and they probably all have an eye on going home for a few days? Um, where do you want to be in March? I mean, that's our focus right now. You know, I met, watched film with Terrence yesterday. Met with him. Met with Solomon this morning. Met with Donovan before I came over here. Uh, our focus needs to be at an all-time high. Toughest game to play is always the game before Christmas, uh, more so at home than on the road. Um, and so our focus needs to be about Iowa State, you know, the next two days and then on Wednesday of competing the right way. Um, we've got a, we've got actually probably a, a, you know, probably a long break. We do have a long break, probably one extra day than normal. Um, but that's fine. These guys need some rest. They need to see their families. Uh, but then when they get back, it's on because then we got 19 heavyweight you know, games uh, ahead of us, home and road. And so uh, my thing with challenge to those guys is really, like I said just earlier, is where do you want to be in March? Um, the, 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 the fun part of trying to continue to get better and grow and see how good we can be, you know, and see if we can prove some people wrong and, 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 and find our way into March. That's what it's about. I want these seniors to have a great year, uh, and I want these young guys to continue to get better. And so uh, that needs to be our only focus, and uh, hopefully we can play well. You mentioned the gauntlet there of the Big 12. Even you've been focused on non-con, but I'm sure you've had some eye on the Big 12. What is your impression of this conference right now? Yeah, it's good. I mean, yeah, I'd, you know, without question, you follow. I watched a Saturday night. I watched Kansas, and Nebraska. And, you know, you root for these teams like crazy in the non-conference. You want them all to do well. And uh, you know, Z made a big shot uh, the other night, and that was great for our league. It's a great road win for them. Um, but you look at Oklahoma, you know, getting a great win. Um, you know, we've had some really good days in our league. Our, our league percentage is right at almost 85 percent, I think. And so, but that's great because if we can if we can hold serve in league play, and 
finish com non conference play the right way, then we're going to have an opportunity to, to play in March, and that's what it's about. And so that's the benefit of playing in a league like the Big 12. What's your schedule coming back now after after Christmas? Uh, they, you know, they're off on the 21st, and then we'll, we'll practice on the 26th. Uh, and so, you know, usually you get about three or four days. We actually get five days just because we're playing on the 20th this time. But, you know, the challenge will be, like I said, to have three good three good days here, uh, play the right way on Wednesday. Uh, you're not just going to jump up and be up 10, 12, 15. You have to go possession at a time, and uh, we need to play well. And um, and then, you know, the biggest challenge is talking to those guys is enjoy family when you're at home. But we need to get you in the gym. You need to lift. You need to run. You need to shoot. So when we come back on the 26th, we have a good spirited practice, kind of get our rhythm back. And then we get go twice in the 27th, twice in the 28th. And when I say twice, I'm not talking about two knockout drag outs, but you know, we're together twice both days, and then we're ready to go on the 29th against uh, a K-State team that's, you know, uh, one at Vanderbilt. I know they're going to Washington State this week, um, you know, but a very, it'll be a really, really good test for us uh, on the 29th. Is it easier from a coaching philosophy standpoint to build guys up when they're struggling or to make sure that when they're on a roll like you guys are now that they don't sort of set it on automatic a little bit? Uh, humility, you know, I think humility, I think that's one of the biggest words uh, of all the successful people. Uh, I think you'll see great humility. And so that's the challenge right now is can you stay humble? Can you stay focused on what's really important? And what's really important right now is is having two, gay, two, gay, two good days, excuse me, of practice and then playing well Wednesday night. You know, playing, trying to max Iowa State out Wednesday night. And if we can do that, that'll be great. Um, you know, we'll be 1-0 and going into the to Christmas and uh, and then go enjoy family, you know, because basketball season is long uh, from a standpoint. It's September to to April, and so these three four days they kind of re-energize you to get really focused and ready for the conference season. Will you be at nine players on whatever by time for Big Twelve? Or uh, we're at eight right now. Uh, we'll be at eight for sure on Wednesday. Uh, we'll evaluate when we get back. I'll meet with Vic when we get back. Um, I would think Jacoby. Uh, is back full go, five on five, and we get back on the 26th. Uh, Zoran is probably going to maybe have to be checked on uh, maybe the next day on the 27th because we won't get in until late afternoon on the 26th for practice. And so, um, you know, eight for sure, and then um, hopefully nine, but I'm not sure when we'll be at nine mm -hmm. or ten. I apologize if you've answered this before, yes. Ben's been around all the time, but is there a precise kind of aha moment when you decided – you know, point guard committee, you know, you're testing guys out, but Nick was going to be the guy, like you're watching film maybe? No, nah, it's just, I think it just was kind of had it in the back of your mind um, that, hey, this is probably going to be what's best, but but let me see mm -hmm. if this will work or if this will work. Um, and then you got to know when you got to make that decision. And then, and then we had, as a staff, had to be, you know, direct, direct, excuse me, and, and, and assertive and, and, and make the decision. It was the right time, and Nick's done a great job. And I think Donovan and Lindell have done a great job of, of buying into their roles, and, and we're getting better. And then again, Hans and Cam back, you know, that helps too. Uh, but again, we got a long way to go. Uh, we're fortunate that we are playing better, uh, but it's the teams that are going to be successful and play in play in March are the teams that are going to continue to get better, and that's what our challenge is: how can we continue to get better and, and take care of business as as we move into Big Twelve play. What about you and Christmas? You think you got any big plans for Christmas and your family? Yeah, my family will be here. Uh, I have family come in town. My wife will have family come in town, and really, just it's my first, my son's first Christmas where he really knows what's going on. So, more just looking forward to really spending some time with my wife. Uh, we don't get a lot of downtime, and then uh, just spending time with my kids uh, and just enjoy Christmas with them. And that's that's what I'm really fired up about starting Thursday morning.